Okay, so we're going to talk now about the psychosocial adaptations to pregnancy. And your book, the the the, the uh, language in your book is very um, heteronormative. So you need to understand that you're going to meet people in different family structures. So I'm going to try to um, work on that language a little bit. Um, understand that there hasn't necessarily been a lot of research into how families with different structures actually process this. So we're going to go with, we're going to start with what the book says, and we're going to talk a little bit about um, other partners. So the psychosocial adaptation of pregnancy, maternal adaptation, we're talking about the parent that is pregnant. Um, there's kind of a, there are some tasks that need to be done uh, psychologically uh, to be able to uh, make that transition to parenthood. So the first is accepting the pregnancy. Some people may be excited. Some people may be uh, dismayed or ambivalent, even if they planned the pregnancy, because pregnancy, especially the first one, kind of, it signals a change in family structure that's going to be permanent. Acceptance of the pregnancy is not the same as acceptance of the fetus. So sometimes people are very excited about the change to the family, but they have a harder time accepting the pregnancy and the changes that are going on with their bodies. Emotional lability is common. So emotions can be all over the place. Crying at diaper commercials is kind of a stereotype, but it's real. Tears are for everything. Um, if that ambivalence I'm not sure, I'm not happy about this. If that continues into the third trimester, then that may indicate there's some kind of unresolved conflict uh, with moving into the maternal role. So the next stage is, ta is um, taking on that mother role or parenting role. Uh, that may begin with how the person who's pregnant was mothered. Um, what each individual sees as an appropriate mother role is going to be influenced by their own perception of um, how their mother uh, interacted with them or didn't, how their mother parented, how their mother was treated by others. Um, it may also be influenced by their perceptions uh, or their expectations of the feminine role, but or but also by cultural and social expectations of the feminine role. For a lot of people, there's a fear of not being able to, to balance their roles or not being able to be an adequate mother or an adequate parent. There are adjustments in relationships. So another task that has to be uh, completed is adjusting relationships. Um, when someone is pregnant, frequently they are, <clears throat> they are, um, in the process or they begin the process of adjusting the role with their relationship with their own mother. Um, they also may be adjusting a relationship with a partner. The relationship with their partner may grow closer or it may lead to increased conflict. Sex can actually be affected by physical changes or by the psychosocial changes of pregnancy. So, so sexuality can be influenced as well. Um, they also um, if there are other children in the family already, then pregnancy causes a necessary adjustment in the relationship with those children. Um, another task of pregnancy is establishing a relationship with the fetus. And there's kind of three phases that have been identified, um, but there can be some fluidity there. Uh, first of all, you have to accept the biologic fact of pregnancy just accepting that they're pregnant. The next phase is accepting the growing fetus as a separate person. And the final one is preparing realistically for birth and parenthood. So when establishing a relationship with the fetus, the pregnant parent may try to anticipate changes that are gonna happen in their life. They may be afraid of those. They might be excited about them. They may fantasize about what having a baby and being a mother will be like. Um, gender disappointment plays in here at times also, um, and we kind of are hard on people who have a gender preference, but there can be some really complex reasons for those. Sometimes if we're expecting a child of one gender and we find out our child is, is a different gender or um, 
or sex. If we find out the child's other sex, it may not necessarily, gender is social, sex is more physical. So if we're, we're expecting a girl and we find out we're pregnant with a boy, then that disappointment is less about, it's usually less about not accepting the boy child that's there and more about mourning the girl child that we thought we were having. So kind of try to reframe that gender disappointment piece a little bit. And the last developmental task of pregnancy that we talk about is preparing for the birth. Women may actively prepare for the birth in some ways. They may um, look for books and classes, ask for, for advice from anybody they know that's had a baby, from their uh, health caregivers. They're looking to get information. And that's a pretty common reaction. Anxiety is really common. And some people respond to that anxiety by seeking more information. Some people respond to that anxiety by denial and trying to avoid thinking about the birth process. Toward the end of pregnancy, uh, the pregnancy becomes more uncomfortable. So a lot of people are kind of at the, I'm ready to be done with this point um, as they're nearing delivery. Okay, in the next section, we're going to talk about other family members and their adjustment to pregnancy.